This is the octagon room, named after its shape, and this is one of the oldest parts of the observatory that goes right back to 1675. John Flamsteed, the first astronomer royal, would measure solar time using a sundial out in the garden. He would then apply the equation of time to create Greenwich Mean Time, this averaged out time, and he would then apply it to these clocks and use it for his work. Now these pendulum clocks were made by Thomas Tompion, the best clockmaker in London at that time, and they have three key features to make them really accurate. First of all, they have very long pendulums, about 13 feet or four meters long that extend behind the walls. You also have the pendulum situated above the movement and dial, so you can still read the dial at eye level without any interference. And you also have very heavy driving weights. This means that you only have to wind the clock once a year rather than once a week like ordinary domestic clocks. And this avoids any disruption that might affect its accuracy. So they were very cleverly made. John Flamsteed also wanted to measure star time or sidereal time, for which he installed a telescope on the wall over there. And for this, he measured the daily crossing of the bright star Sirius as it crosses the meridian every 23 hours and 56 minutes. And this gave him a very regular and consistent rate. And from this, he was able to deduce that the Earth rotates at a constant rate on its axis. And this was crucial for his later work on longitude.